right, good morning YouTube. October the 30th. I've just pulled over here because I thought I had the camera recording, but I didn't. So I've been waffling away and talking for no good reason. Is the camera is on? Yeah, it's recording. I can see on my phone. Yep, yeah, it's recording. So yes, October the 30th, Halloween tomorrow. Nice fresh morning it is. But the sun's out. It's dry. It's been about a month since I've been on the bike. Last time on the bike was at Ellen Valley, which was a blazing hot day, so a bit of a difference. And how about that? We've hit 500 subscribers. Thank you very much, people, for watching us, liking us, subscribing, commenting. We took a hell of a a lot of work and a long time to get to 500 but we've done our first milestone next up is a thousand subscribers right so today i'm heading to stoport to meet our good friend motorway aka vicway he's brought himself a cardo pop talk so i'm going to help him set it up we're going for the sausage sandwich and then we are heading out to Mill House Caravan and Camping Site in Worcestershire. And the reason we're heading there is I was there the weekend camping, went there Friday, and we were staying till Tuesday. So anyway, we got there Friday, it was drizzling a bit, nothing major, a little bit of rain, it was going to be clearing up on the weekend. Uh, but the campsite sits right on the River Severn. Oh, bit of a bump there on the road. And the river had come up a little bit, nothing to worry about. Nothing I haven't seen before. So, the Saturday we got up and the ground underneath the caravan was a bit swampy, it was a bit soft and wet. So obviously I'd imagine that the river leaks, leaks into the ground and obviously makes the floor wet. So anyhow, uh, we went into Kidderminster for the day, about half past two, go and do a bit of shopping, the wife and the girls. Wanted to spend money as normal. Me and Trent, the little lad, didn't want to spend money, but anyhow, we took him to Smith's and bought him a new dinosaur. Anyhow, I'm digressing. Anyhow, so we went to Frank and Benny's to have something to eat. And we ordered a drink, we ordered our food, and obviously they were preparing the food. It was nearly ready. I then had a phone call from the campsite. She said, how far away are you? I said, I'm about 25 minutes, half hour away. Why? She says, you need to get back now. The river's come up all of a sudden and it's already underneath your caravan. My God. <laughs> we didn't get to eat our food at Frankie and Benny's. Frankie and Benny's were very good about it. They didn't charge us. Although we'd ordered the food and they were cooking it, they didn't charge us. So we shot back. Let's pull the caravan off. We had to take the caravan home and then we had to find another campsite for the Sunday. Anyway, Mellow's Caravan and Camping Site. I've been there before when I set up my new tent to test it out. So I'll include that footage in this video so you can see what the campsite is like when it's dry and it's green and lush. And then what we're going to do today, we're sending the drone over the campsite. So we can see what the campsite is like flooded and whether you can make out anything on the campsite. Which you don't quite realise how aggressive and how hard Mother Nature can be. So this campsite, I think it's the River Solwall that runs through the middle of it, which connects to the River Severn. Now this river, what goes around the edge of the campsite, sits down in a bank. And it's normally, I'd say, about seven foot down the river is, from the top of the campsite. So this water has come up the seven foot, flooded the campsite. Now just opposite the campsite they also have a static caravan park. And these statics, uh, the land they are on is higher than the campsite. And the statics are, again, probably about a good three to four foot higher. they built up on blocks. So it's now completely flooded the campsite. It's come up the car park and it's starting to flood the static caravan park. That's got to have come up 10, 11 foot. That's a lot of water to rise that quick. And apparently what I've learnt is, because when we was out it was raining, but it was only drizzle. It's not the weather we get here in Worcestershire what affects the river flooding there. 
it's what happens in Wales. So if Wales have bad weather and bad rain, obviously it comes gushing down the River Severn and when it gets to Worcestershire, obviously it just bursts the banks. It's obviously too much coming down. So for the last three days it's been sunny and dry like this, but apparently today is going to be the worst day. On the news last night, um, Worcestershire have had to put up all their flood defences, closing a lot of roads. Because apparently it's going to peak today, it's going to be at its highest. So I think it'll be quite dramatic seeing this campsite. Well, you won't see the campsite, it'll just, it'll just look like a big lake. Right then, we're off to go and meet Motorway. Don't forget, guys, we've got a private Facebook group. Anyone's welcome to join. And what we normally do is when we release our videos on YouTube, we share them to this group first so they get to watch them before we release it public. We also have little competitions on there. We have sticker giveaways. People are winning T-shirts. We've got a hoodie up at the minute. So if you want to win some goodies, people, and you want some stickers and all that kind of malarkey, get yourself on there. Come and join in the chat. And also you can see on there where we are planning our Normandy tour for next spring, summer time. So we're just going to arrange some dates on that and anybody's welcome to come. Hello oh, bud, how you doing? Oh, you're out. Yeah, well, yeah, I found. I've come round. Cause we've been to Lickhill Manor a few times camping, so I wonder which straight away. Oh. That's right, Bob. No, no, it's fine, mate, stuff. Oh no. Well, there we are, people. We're with Motorway again. And as I'll show you on the camera, there's his sticker. Yeah, I've got some, I've got some new stickers in my rucksack. We'll sort them out when we get. And we're just going to the cafe now to have a sauna, and then we're going to head out to go and see the sunken millhouse. <laughs> That's amazing. It must have been. I mean, you think about that. Was a, it was a long day, wasn't it? It's, it's a long day not to talk to anybody. At least now, whatever happens on the YouTube, you can actually hear it first hand. <laughs> You can hear the goose live. It takes some stick, he does. The thing, the good thing with him though, he can give it as much as he takes it. Right then, ready when you are, sir. So that tattoo shop there, people, that's Motorway's son's tattoo shop. We'll put a link up in there so you can have a look at his work. Put a link up to my shop. So if you're ever around Staple people, come and get some ink. Oh, I don't know this was here. Yeah. Dorrell's motorcycles. Dorrell's. Dolls, motorcycles. I'll say it looks proper, proper old school, doesn't it? Old school counter. Bloody fair play to him. There they are, man. Good these cardos. And he said it's good that when you ain't talking, it just cuts out, and you ain't got all the wind noise coming through. I 
Ross, I can hear you. Yeah. Is that better? One, two, three. One, two. Th try. Try rolling it forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, is that better? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yep, yeah, is that better? That's all right, mate. Here we go. Bloody hell. Jesus, it has come up. Bloody hell. Oh no. That is shocking. Look at the swans. That is unbelievable. Yeah. And yeah, ends up a little speck. I only see it on there. Floods down here. Scuba diving courses start tomorrow. Bring your own flippers. Ah, oh, there's the beauty. Mr. Maverick. Right then, ready? Yeah, we'll have to sort out a few more um, 
as I said, sausage sandwich runs and that. Thanks for the sarnie again, mate away. You're welcome, mate. It has been a good morning, we shall do many more of them. But uh, we'll have to organise a Christmas breakfast run. We'll have the full works, the full English. Yeah, we will indeed. We will, mate, indeed. Okay, Vic, see you later, buddy. Speak, all right, mate, and you. See you soon. See you, pal. Bye. So once again, thank you to the 500 subscribers. I think we're on about 502 now. It's much appreciated. We look forward to the next 500. We'd like to do this swear bucket for Ricky's last ride on any video we make. We said we'll put the swear bucket on. And I think I've only swore once. So I can't donate just a pound to Ricky's last ride. So I'm gonna do a few little swears now for you, Steve Clark, so we can put some money in your bucket. So, the money for the swear box. The only way I can think of doing it is I'm going to have to give you an insult, Steve Clark. So, Steve Clark, you are a mother... There we go. I hope you're okay with that, Steve. Please don't take any offence by it. It was all, it was all done in good spirit for charity. See you all again soon, folks, on the next video. Or something like that. Ladies and gators, as Trump would say. In a war, crocodile. Over and out.